two beautiful aircraft. Spitfire had the Allison engine in it. That's what they put in the initial P-51s, and it did not have enough horsepower, enough horsepower to get to the altitude or this. It's a nice pass. Scooter in the low position and stepped up. Hit Jim Torto. Scissor break. Here they are. Scooter in the lead, calls ready, ready, break. Now Scooter rolling to the left, Jim rolling to the right. Now both setting up for a head-on pass, the imposing... Made. Listen to the sound of the Rolls Royce Merlin engine. the cross ready pitch and roll wonder how the uh, f for you p51 mustang quicksilver incidentally you see the uh, black and white stripes on the wing of the uh, airplane and around the fuselage all of the aircraft involved in the dd uh, invasion at normandy june 7th 6th of 1944 wore those markings so the all of the allied forces would know that those were friendly air as a dedication not only to the men and women who have served and who are currently serving in the armed forces but today we actually have a very special announcement to make this flight that Lee is performing, his routine today, is actually his 10,000th flight in the P-51 Mustang. He's hitting the 10 grand mark, ladies and gentlemen, on this flight that he's performing today. Everybody give a round of applause to Lee. It's pretty special for him to be here. He's been attending uh, Sun and Fun, I think, for 51 Mustang. Sorry for a moment of silence, but there's nothing like this. Now, Crazy Horse 2 is actually the P-51 that Lee is flying today, and it's a TF-51 Mustang, which was the last designation given to the Mustang series, which stands for Trainer Fighter. Crazy Horse is painted in the colors of the 487th Fighter Squadron of the 352nd Fighter Group, which was based out of Osh, Belgium in 1944. Merlin engine. It's a 1,650 cubic inch 12 cylinder inline power plant that produces just under 1,700 horsepower. The Mustang was designed to be a fighter escort that could stay with the bombers deep into enemy territory, which were taking heavy losses at the time. The bomber crews actually nicknamed them Little Friends. Lee is repositioning for his next maneuver, the barrel roll. This particular maneuver will show the vertical cap capability of the P-51 Mustang with aircraft such as the ME-109, the Focke-Whiff 190, and the Japanese Zero, which could outturn the Mustang in a dogfight, but they could never come close in vertical cap capabilities. Even though over 15,000, almost 16,000 Mustangs were produced, there are only approximately 175 still flying throughout the entire world today. If you ever wondered what it's like to fly in one of these, we actually do this on a daily basis, just based up at Kissimmee Gateway Airport. It's 
which is about an hour away from here at our location, Stallion 51. You can look us up in Ohio and begin Woo! flying Mustangs in 1977. Uh, as of today, he's amassed that 10,000 hours in the P-51, as well as accumulating time on most other vintage Allied fighters. For many years, he was chief pilot for golfer and businessman, Mr. Arnold Palmer. And uh, currently, Lee is our chief flight instructor and demonstration pilot for Stallion 51. Lee has also received the FAA Master Pilot Award. He's been inducted into the EAE Warbirds Hall of Fame and also a member of the SETP, which is Society of Test Pilots. And uh, he's also one of the uh, recipients of the ICAST Sword of Excellence from ICAST and the airshow industry. ahead of myself here in Vernon. He's totally gone out of where I mean today. That 10,000 hours is getting to him, right? The old aerons and airflow ducting were some of the um, wonderful attributes of the P-51 Mustang. He's going to reposition and come around for the eight-point roll. See us there and uh, get your picture taken by the airplane. It'll be there for the week. And um, love to say hello to you. If you ever just want to take a break and drive up to Kissimmee and see our operation, feel free to. Like I said, it's about an hour away, and we have lots of other Mustangs like, encased in our uh, our sister ship, the Little Witch, That's and potentially Mad that. Max over here, and maybe even Slender, Tender, and Tall if weather holds. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for allowing us to perform here with you today. And uh, if you want to stop by and say hello to Lee after he finishes flying and congratulate him, congratulate him on his 10,000th hour, please feel free to. We'll be, uh, we'll be on the Warbird ramp.